So first off, I'm going to kind of describe what Guardian Games is and then what's been updated for this year. Guardian Games itself is an activity where you compete in activities to determine which class is going to be the champion of Guardian Games. To begin this activity, there are two things you have to do in the tower. We you talk to Zavala to get the new class item. And again, the class item that you used in previous years will not work, so make sure you have that. If you do not have this item, you will not drop laurels and other things within the activity, which we'll talk about in a few minutes. Eva will be the vendor you'll be dealing with for the games, and she will give you various activities and quests that you do to compete in the games. The basics of the activity are as long as you have the class item attached and you kill enemies with your abilities within the core playlist, you'll get laurels drop. They look like little moats. If you collect a laurel that's generated by your class, you get three laurels. If you do by another class, you only get one. So playing with your class is obviously useful. These laurels, you can then bring back and you can trade those in for medals. There are medals that you do different activities and those are how you rank your class up. You can also get contender cards that will give you gold medals on different challenges. You can only have one of those active as a time. And there's a platinum that can only be used in nightfall, strikes, and trials that can give you additional points to your class. Some of the big changes this season are that there is gonna be a strike playlist that will match you with people of your class, which obviously gives you the ability to get a lot of laurels. They're also not weighting the uh, rankings because you know Hunter's obviously the best class have an advantage since there's more hunters in the game, but they will apply some modifiers that will make it more difficult. For every day, whoever wins gets the gold medal and then silver and bronze. So depending on who gets that, the next day you will have advantages to your class. But if you're, for instance, also in the gold, you'll get two disadvantages. If you're silver, you'll get one, and if you're bronze, you'll get none. For gold, your health shields and recovery are increased and your kinetic weapons deal more damage. For silver, your melee abilities recharge faster, elemental damage increase from guardian sources, and more heavy ammo is available. For bronze, your grenades deal more damage and recharge much faster, and elemental damage increase from guardian sources. As far as negative modifiers to your class, those are depending on your class. For titans, they are combatant, melee attacks deal more damage, and again, if you get double, then it's, it's additional. If you do Warlock, it, the Warlock, the damage increase while airborne, and again, if you get double, it's more. And then for Hunter, your radar is disabled, and if you get double, it's not like your radar is disabled, but combat combatants don't flinch when damaged. As you're playing this activity, one thing to keep in mind is that you will potentially lose medals if you don't turn them in quickly enough to the, to the case. The other thing is that you will need to, in most activities, pick up your laurels or you will not get them. In Gambit and Crucible, they will be put to you automatically. And finally, for rewards, there's going to be a number of Eververse items. There will also be a Sparrow. There will be the Air Parent and its Catalyst that will be available. So lots of cool things that will be available. And that's your quick update and overview of Guardian Games for 2021. And I'll see you Guardians in the Tower.